I'm, I'm blown away. This is super reception. Um, <laughs> here's my vintage uh, Superman figure that uh, I think my dad got for me when I was very really young. So thanks for that, dad. Uh, this is <laughs> this is super reception. Excuse me. That's okay. John here guys and today we're talking about the best FPV antenna setup that I have ever tried. Um, so I'm going to talk today a lot of, about a lot of antennas that we put on our goggles. Now we've established in my goggle review that level 5, the best goggle that you can possibly get is the Fat Shark HDO with the Immersion RC Rapid Fire module. That's this red thing on there. Um, but now that once you have the best goggles, you need the best reception and possibly just as important of a component as your module that you're receiving video from your quadcopter, drone, wing, car, whatever it is, is your antenna setup, something that's often overlooked. Now, these are two of the newest offerings by Video Aerial Systems or VAS for short. And I just flew my first um, pack on my race quad with this as I was doing a bit of practice and I paused everything, put my quad up, and ran straight to turn the camera on and talk about how amazing the reception is. Now, the two antennas here, this is the VAS ION V2, and this is the VAS, uh, it is the Crosshair Extreme. That's the package that it comes in. And I mean, wow, 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 I'm blown away. <laughs> Now, before we continue uh, and give a little bit more detail, let's talk about some of the other antennas that I have tried. I have used the real ACC triple feed patch. This is the mini version. Uh, and it's nice because you can switch this connector over to this side and make it left-hand circular polarized. Uh, the way that it's configured right now is right-hand circular polarized. That's very versatile because you can switch it back and forth. If you're at a race, this is very key to be able to have that ability to switch now this antenna setup is only right hand but most of the time for most of the races you can get away with right hand but i am going to always keep this in my gear if i do need to switch to left hand um i saw ladrib on his driblet uh review video using one of these a fox here a lollipop um just directly onto his um rapid fire module and the weird thing is when you do that you're gonna have a dead zone out at the front it's gonna be the null now he had one sticking out and one sticking up so that does give you a, a good you know amount of range um, kind of all the way around yourself because this is an omni antenna. The, the beam path is going to be 360 around you. Uh, and then these are patch antennas, which is going to be a narrower beam in one direction, but farther. Now, other um, patch antenna options are something like this, very thin and small. This is the uh, Menace RC. This is actually one for a linear um, antenna. So like on your whoops, micros that you're running a linear, linear antenna on. This is the very nice Fat Shark Immersion RC antenna cloverleaf that is protected by this little cage up here. This is also made by um, I believe this originated with VAS and it's also a very, very good antenna. This is the VAS switchblade that is a very versatile antenna. I've shown that in a review video before and it has these little caps. So the cap, you just switch off. I can switch to this gray one and it goes from right hand circular polarized to left hand circular polarized. Very handy. And it just works like take that off, put that on and now it's a left hand antenna. Um, I also have this little monitor that I take out in the field when I'm spotting people, when I want to hand it to someone and show them. I'm going to do a, a little more detail about this in another video. But uh, for this, I just throw an Axie Stubby right on the top there, and it gets good enough reception. You know, you could also do a patch, but I want something that's easy to throw in my case. So I've tried all of these and more, um, and they're all pretty good. I really like the versatility of a pair of these. I would run two of these at races, and I could easily switch from left hand to right hand, no problem. But I noticed in a lot of my DVR footage on my channel that I would get a little bit of breakup, you know, uh, what was to be expected flying FPV. But I noticed over time, people in my community um, that I raced with that I was at the same track would post their DVR footage in, in our local Discord or Facebook group. And I would see some of their footage and I would really be surprised at how clear it was at times. And there was one particular um, person, T-Rex. Uh, he had this exact same antenna set up and uh, he let me try it one day and that particular day i was running the switchblade 
and the triple feed patch. And we did it over a tall split S tree. And uh, I really didn't note too much difference. You know, it felt the same. It looked the same. It didn't seem any clearer to me, but curiosity got the better of me. And I went ahead and ordered this setup anyway, um, because GetFPV was having a sale the other day, got the pair. Now this runs about 35 bucks and this runs about, I think 17 bucks. So not the cheapest antenna setup. You're gonna be running a little over 50 bucks for this pair, which is much more expensive than, you know, the, the setup I just showed you. You know, this triple feed patch is like 12 bucks and this um, switchblade is like, I don't know, it's like 16 or 17 bucks, about the same price as this. So this is a, a bit more expensive, 20 bucks more or so. But when you use it, you will see the difference. Now, why did I not see a huge difference the other day? Well, that's because, yes, it was the furthest part in our track. It was over a tree, but it was still only about 70 or 80 yards away. So in other words, those are still ideal conditions distance wise less than ideal conditions going through trees and doing a split s which takes your antenna and points it completely away from you having for a moment your antenna transition is probably being blocked by your battery as you flip over to perform that split s maneuver that's why it really wasn't an improvement but i went to go fly this in front of my house as i often do a little bit of testing a little bit of practicing and if you notice in some of the videos where i'm flying in front of my house I usually sit right outside my garage and I get a lot of times some interference, some fuzz. And I believe it's just because the Wi-Fi from my house, the Wi-Fi from all the other houses in the neighborhood. And it's just, you know, a fact of life that I had to live with. But flying this for a full pack out there for four minutes or so, four or five minutes, it's the clearest I've ever seen it in my neighborhood. It is so much clearer. I mean, is it like a million times clearer? Is this going to be perfect under any condition? Probably not, guys. It's still only $50 solution, but this is the best. Now, no, I did have to buy these 90 degree clear clothes to be able to make it fit. It doesn't come with those. So, and I couldn't fit both of them on there at the same time without it. This would sit too close to the module and it would block this from going on. So go on Amazon. I'll put a link. You can get us a, a set of these elbows for like five bucks for two. Uh, it does come with these little blue tighteners on there, which I do like. Now, one thing I'll note is that on my previous antenna setup, like with the switchblades, I could easily fit that in the Fat Shark HDO hard case. Uh, not so much with this. So I'm going to have to fit this another place in my bag and yet keep it safe. I can probably get away with keeping this one in the hard case uh, with the goggles without too much issue. I'm going to include some footage of me practicing in front of my house. And if you've ever seen some of the other videos where I'm flying in the same area, I usually get medium to heavy breakup. And uh, today with this antenna setup, it is just so clear. And I just, I, I'm supposed to be practicing right now because I had a little bit of time and had a little bit of daylight, but I just had to come in inside and record this video while it's still fresh in my mind. Wow. I'm so glad I invested in this antenna setup. I'll put some links in the description below if you want to get the best. If you do want a budget option, my suggestion is um, basically this. This is about 12 bucks. This is about 16 bucks. Um, the Vast Switchblade and the um, Real ACC Triple Feed Mini Patch. And the nice thing is when you have this, you're good to buy these two antennas and you're covered for racing, freestyle, whatever, because both have the ability to switch from left hand to right hand. Um, it's like a transformer. <laughs> uh, this one is only, it's $50, $52, but it's only right hand circular polarized. So if I do want to run left, I'd have to buy another setup. But what I'll probably do is just, if I do ever get assigned left at a race, I'll just go with this. When we're racing, we're usually not too far. So any kind of antenna setup will work. I might get a little bit more breakup on this setup, but I'll still be able to see good enough to race with this. So, wow, unparalleled. Um, I mean, so just go out and get it. I, I can't even say enough about it. Thanks guys.